coding made so what's up everybody and welcome to your next libgdx tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at loading in music loading in sound and music so first what we're going to do is we're going to create um a sound and it's just called sound and we have music and we're just going to call this instance music and we're just going to import this and to load in sound and music is easy just like it is for for everything else uh, so we're just going to say music is equal to gdx audio dot new music and where the music is so my music file is called music dot mp3 and then for sound we have gdx audio new sound and the location and I name mine sound.mp3. Now normally your sounds are gonna be WAV files, like uncompressed, but this is the general rule if you don't know if you should actually make a music or a sound. If you have something that is 10 seconds or shorter, you should make it be a sound, and if it's anything longer than 10 seconds, make it music. So music could be anything like background music or, or background sound effects that last a while. And the reason why it's, it's split up into the music and the sound class is because they essentially do the, do the same thing, but there's one major difference. So with the music class, what it does is that, say you have a music file that's say three megabytes. It takes a lot to load that in and to play it. So what it does is that it doesn't load on the whole thing. It loads in the, it loads it while it's playing. So it keeps on, it keeps on, um, I guess buffering as you're playing. I'm sure you've seen that on videos, like on YouTube videos. Once you load a YouTube video and you start playing it, it's not fully loaded. It's loading as you're watching the YouTube video and then you eventually watch the whole thing. So that's how music's, music works and what's the way how sounds work is that it loads in the whole sound and plays in the whole sound as a whole. So that's why genu generally if the sound is less than 10 seconds, uh, is 10 seconds or less, then make it a sound because you're not loading in a lot of data and if it's larger than that then just make it a music so that's the this that's the major difference so now that we've loaded it in what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna uh, say music that plays so we're just gonna play the music um, so I'm just gonna say run as Java application and uh, I'm not sure if you can hear that but just some music playing just something that my uh, my brother whipped up uh, one night. Okay, so now here's for a sound. So uh, this is the intro that I play in my videos now. That's gonna be playing. So normally you're going to want to uh, play, normally sounds will be like sound effects in games like when you do a punching or like an attack or something like that, then maybe that's what a sound effect would be used for, but um, yeah, you can do different things with it. So let's just say that we want the music, um, say we say the music is background, uh, background music, right? So if it's background music and you want it to keep looping, you just say set looping equals to true. So when you say set looping is equals to true and you say music.play, when it finishes playing, it's going to go right back to the beginning again. So um, you can do that for music and, music and sound. And say, for example, somebody paused the music in your, um, in your game. So you can say, um, say music.pause. Then if you want to check if it's paused to resume it again, you can say if music.get, um, sorry, is is playing sorry so if the music is not playing and then they click to unpause or whatever you can say music dot play I don't know if they have a resume option no they don't I know some frameworks have a resume option but you just have to click play and then it will resume the music um so as for other things in the music uh, department we can set the volume so the volume is a range, it's a floating range from 0 to uh, zero to 1, 
and it's sort of like a ratio of how loud it's going to be. Uh, in the game that I created, uh, well, I had to rename it from Drunk Driver to Driving Frenzy because of Apple. But Driving Frenzy, what happens is that um, with the police siren, what I do is that it gradually, um, it starts off really soft and it gradually gets louder and louder. Um, so I just use that using the music dot set volume. And then you can set the volume to actually change the volume. Um, pretty simple. And uh, you can check if it's looping or not. Uh, and that's basically it. So you can stop it. Um, you can set the pan. So like if it's towards more towards the left speaker or more towards the right speaker. So what that's what I was going to do with the sound as well. But I decided not to do it. Like make it go from the left to the right or something like that. But it's really up to you what you want to do with that. And uh, I don't really think there's any difference with these sounds to be completely honest. But let's check it out. Uh, so we can, for the sounds, you can loop it and set the set the volume of the loop. You can set the pitch, so you could raise the pitch to make it a higher frequency or lower the pitch to make it a lower frequency, and you can uh, pause it and do certain things with it. Now I know you see a uh, pause with a sound ID, so you can have uh, whenever you create sounds. Uh, where is it? Uh, there should be something. Oh yeah, see the sounds have a resume option. Uh, well, you can have certain sound IDs with sounds to identify certain things um, with um, certain certain sounds. I don't really use a sound ID. I just refer like every single sound I have. I just use that particular sound instance. But if you want to check out how to do different things with the sound IDs, it just basically letting you identify what what sound you're working with or so on and so forth but besides that um, that's basically it for the music and sound class so I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe oh and last but not least don't forget to dispose I forgot to mention that in the last tutorial don't forget to dispose uh, your images or anything that you actually load in um, so anyways thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe and bye for now